Hello, I am Micah. I'm with Living Earth Structures, and I'm here in Santa Rosa, California, where we have built a wood-fired oven. This is the Palm Beehive Oven. The idea is that you make a fire right inside of here, and you have this cooking for about, heating up the oven for about an hour, and then after about an hour, you push the fire to the back, and, uh, and then you put your food right on the fire brick. Uh, we mostly have been cooking pizza in here, uh, pizza that we'll, people will make and bring, or pizza, uh, pizza is bought inside the store, and they put the frozen pizza on, and it gets about 900 degrees in there, so a pizza cooks in just a couple minutes, and it comes out just tasting fantastic, a nice wood-fired smoke flavor, it's really nice. And uh, so it can also be used for cooking veggies and pumpkins and uh, breads and cookies and just about anything you would cook in a regular conventional oven, it'll just come out tasting much better and certainly have a lot more soul. One nice feature about the ovens too is that there's a copper tube in here. So when the oven's hot, you can put cold water right here. The tube, tube coils around and then it comes out here. So you can put a cup right here and uh, you know, sit here with a cup and have hot water, instant hot water for your tea. People from the community came and they put their hand prints. Right, this here is, these are my prints. There's uh, different people. There's footprints here. There's a, even a, a nose print right here. There's a, a dog paw over there. There's, so this is kind of a nice reflection of the uh, of uh, the you know, community involvement of the project. You know, historically, communities always gather around the oven to bake their bread, to get warm, to tell their stories. It would always, the hub, hub of the village would always be the oven. So uh, this, this is a tradition that I'm trying to bring back. Community center, any school, the materials pretty much cost virtually nothing. And uh, it's a lot of fun to do. On my website, livingearthstructures.com, there's uh, 50 reasons of why it's good to do natural buildings. Deep down, there's pretty much a perfect consistency of sand to clay in this earth. It's about 70% sand, 30% clay, which is really what you want. So the value of this property has just increased so much now that there is a good building material. This is actually, we call this the cobster because the, the mascot of the farm is a rooster, right? So we did kind of a, a cobster. And so actually the chimney of the oven is here in the mouth. And then, so the, here's where we, here's where we do our pizza. This is a, a goddess oven that I did here in the backyard of Petaluma. And so, uh, the client wanted a uh, kind of a nice, peaceful garden goddess, so this is what we did. Um, this also is using earth right from here. I dug a hole right over here, I got the earth, and then uh, took that earth and added some sand to it. And uh, we had a tarp right here, and we mixed up the earth right here, and then took that earth and then sculpted this. So this also has the linseed oil sealer, and uh, the colors come from iron oxide pigments that we added into the lintu. Um, it also has the hot water feature right here. Pour cold water there. Coils around and comes out hot right here. We actually put uh, the handprints of all of her family members here. So here's some handprints there, handprint, hand, the drainage holes right here so water can drain out. So these are just, uh, you know, kind of like pine flowers almost that kind of drop to the ground. So I kind of glued those in. And we actually did this oven and bench in uh, a front yard. Uh, so they wanted an oven that they could use for um, kind of their neighborhood gatherings. They have 4th of July block parties and things like that. Or when you make pizzas, you actually don't really need to have a door over it. And so they mostly wanted this for baking pizza. But if you want to do bread, then you would take out all the coals and then you put a door on and you let the heat that's inside the oven, that radiant heat, you know, cook your bread. This is Trayton Heckman. How are you doing? And Trayton is the director of a group called Daily Axe. Our organization does quite a few quite a few events and really focus on educating people about um, rebuilding the skills of local self-reliance and building community and having a good time. So to have gray water systems and rainwater and bees and chickens and a cob bench and oven that we could then use prunings from our trees to build fires and then feed our family and friends. 
uh, is really rich. And so we've had events with 50 to 100 people in the backyard of local elected officials and leaders. And to actually get the smell it, touch it, feel it, taste it, um, that feel the world being born, this healthy, just, sustainable world. So it's, it's a really cool element um, that we're, we're stoked to just have be a part of our lives and our garden and as a model for daily acts in the education we do. All right, so this is where I make my adobe bricks. So I've made some adobe bricks here last week. So I piled them up here. It's raining a lot, so I have them covered up here with the tarp. So uh, this is where I get my earth, right? So this here is, uh, it has about 40% sand and about 60% clay. So I have to add sand to this to make it about 70% sand, 30% clay. And uh, so I just, I mix this up with some water and some straw. And, uh, and if I don't have straw, then I'll use pine needles. Sometimes I use those. And uh, so then I make my bricks. This is my little uh, adobe cob sauna in uh, the Spanish language. It's a temescal. It's kind of a Mayan style sauna. And I learned this technique when I was living down in Guatemala. It's adobe bricks going up to about here. Uh, also just made right from earth, right from the property. And then a platform was put across and then uh, a mold was put on top of that with uh, straw bales and wet sand. And then put the cob, the sand clay straw mix over that. And put in some colored bottles into the ceiling to bring in light. All right, so here we are inside. You can tell the acoustics are very incredible in here. So this is a, is a 50 gallon barrel drum here. So you make a fire from the outside and the barrel drum gets really hot and then you uh, put water on it and it steams up. So it gets incredibly hot in here. It works really well. And uh, the inside is sealed with linseed oil so the, the moisture from the inside doesn't cause any damage. I like to say every man needs a cave. <laughs> so another thing we have here at the, uh, the Cobb Spa is uh, we have a Cobb uh, hot tub and cold plunge. Alright, so we fill this up with water and then we put a pump right in here and the water is pumped through the oven. So there's these copper tubes, water is pumped through the oven inside inside the cob and also inside the hearth. And so the wa hot water comes out here. And so you can sit here and um, be in a hot tub while you're cooking your pizza. And you can even look inside the fire, see the fire as you're taking a hot tub. And then you take the, the pizza out. We use this here. So we put the pizza on a little raft like this and kind of float it around. And then this here is a, a cold plunge, so you can then go into the, the cold water here. So this is actually made with earth bags, so it's just when I dug a hole here, I got earth and I filled up um, some, some bags and then I put cob on either side. And it has a plaster, it has a, a lime plaster and a few coats of linseed oil sealer with some uh, mineral spirits and some diatomaceous earth. One of the great things about cob is about how easy it is to repair. So if there's ever a little piece of cob that, that comes off for some unknown reason, it's, uh, it's easy just to go ahead and, and just put it back. Uh, this was just a space that was never really utilized at all before. And uh, so we put it to good use and just put the cob right over the, the fence and uh, cob the mailbox. Nice and arch. And uh, cob to put an adobe around the smart meter box. Did this cob tree going up the wall. And then going along, 